so hi all, my name is Elena. I work in the wonderful company Webflow. We are uh, making possible to create uh, websites even more easier. And today I'm here not to share any rocket science, but to share one small hint that I found very useful in my last work. I will be uh, spoken, speaking about how to use JSX slightly more in different ways that we are suited to. Okay, so for example, we have uh, five components, avatar, name, email, phone, ed edit users, and PM come to us and said, can you create for me the user list that will look like this one? Oh yeah, we, we can this, we are great developers and we have created the components, we have created the applications, and now uh, times come to the user list. How we would create it? If we come to, it, to this, uh, these questions in a very dumb way, we can do something like this. So just iterate through the all, the, all the users that we have in the list, uh, then just include every component that we need and pass the item to every component, and also in the whites we are passing the uh, whites in the grid measurements. So uh, avatar will be one, uh, one column in the grid, name three, and so on. If we think a little bit more, we can actually come up with the idea, oh, maybe there is some smarter way to pass item, and I do not need to pass it to every, every component every time. And we can come up with something like this, using the power of iteration through the children with the, from the React and cloning elements. And now it's slightly more clear for us what, what is happening here. Okay. But it's a real world and time is, go, uh, is coming and PM is coming and said, oh, I, I need other user list. We have a data already coming from that endpoint. Please give me the list where there is the address and the uh, bank account st uh, state and the possibility to send the check to this user. Also, I want the other user list that will do not include uh, avatar, but will include when this user comes to our network and the possibility to activate and delete this user. And I want even more one, more user list, which will show the favorite color and the favorite uh, fruit of this user and possibility to send the present for this user. After the month, this PM will come and said, I need 12 more, uh, 12 more user lists. After a month, I need 100 user lists. You're thinking, should I recreate this user list every time, with every, every time with different components, or should I have something like this? Well, through the very simple interface, I just, I just iterate all the components that I want to include, or something like this, where I am in object iterating through the components that I want to include, also inclu including information, how much in the grid these components should have the space. If look at this, we have come to the facet pattern. Actually, every React component is, has the facet pattern in itself, but here it is like, uh, on the very big layer. So how can we do this one? First of all, we should uh, require all the components, not separately, but like the parts. Then, as in the first example uh, that I showed, we will iterate through the all ch children, through, uh, through the all users, and for every user, we will also iterate through the keys of the configuration, require the part with that key from the parts, and then return the uh, component created with JSX, where JSX tag is actually the variable that will be targeted to that specific component that we want. Why it's actually used? Why, 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 why actually it's working? And it's a ro it is working. It's working on project, big project, and so uh, and why it's working? Maybe you remember the time when we went like JSX in like a crazy and we are just starting to land in React, and I think everyone in this room uh, was in the time when he or she wrote this one, React create element, and all these arguments. And what we can see is that uh, JSX tag is not something only UI friendly, it's actually just an argument, it's a variable. And even the main React documentation states that its tag gets compiled into direct reference to the named variable. So JSX stack is only a variable that, uh, that uh, can reference to any value in, the, uh, in your application. Other example where I found it quite useful was um, the case when we, were, when we were having 
some text areas that have a lot of functionality. At, at some point, uh, the project manager came to me and said, okay, here we have the text area that had, has the head 80 pixels, but I want in other part of our application to have this text area as extendable. It's quite easy to achieve with this approach, thinking about G6 tag as a variable, like this. We are requiring text area that uh, is extendable from the NPM because everything exists in the NPM. And then just checking, does the head is passed to our components through the pro properties? If it is passed, we just named uh, the we are just uh, named the GSX tag, uh, tag as text area, and if not, okay, we have the text areas that should expand, and we're just passing a reference to our extendable component. And in the render function, we ju we're just simply references, referencing to this variable. Okay, it works, it's work in real, in real project. At this point, you will st need to start, your, uh, uh, to start asking yourself, okay, it is working. But is this really a good thing to do? And I already have found one guy that said, oh no, it's not that really good things to do. Uh, Ryan Florence recently have done the uh, talk on the Phoenix ReactJX conference. And he was talking that for my use case, it's better to approach with such one solution that it will be more scalable and better in the future. Uh, the reason why he said this this was quite simple because if we're starting to configure our components, we just can come up to something less like was in the jQuery when we like have for one component a lot of configurations and it was very hard to handle. My idea here is that there is no 100% correct solution. Everything is different. Business logic is different. Our React ecosystem in every project is different. Our size of the project are very different. And the most scarifying thing is that we do not know the future. Yeah, your application can start now from the user list that uh, can, be, uh, can have five variations. But uh, no one ha does, doesn't give, give you a guarantee that it wouldn't be 100 variation in a year or one variation in a year. So, yeah, I'm here not to tell the, what's the correct way to solve this business situation. I'm here like to remind her that in such powerful instrument as GSX, even in its name, it's a reminder for all of us that it has a very big mag magic of GS. Thank you. <laughs> oh.